I have a theory about the Rings of Power. I can't back this up necessarily with hard evidence, this is purely a theory, so let's get into it. I think what we're seeing on screen is extensively reshot footage. Production was started and Tom Shippey was involved. The death of Christopher Tolkien and the firing of Tom Shippey was a catalyst for change. An actor leaving not long after Tom Shippey is kind of telling, but also there's other stuff within this that kind of screams of heavy reshoots and heavy re-editing. Continuity is broken in this show, uh, to the point that a lot of the continuity, like basic errors, like characters changing height between shots, time of day changing, CGI swords that keep disappearing and reappearing, dialogue that sometimes, and I don't know if this is just me, doesn't match the mouth movement, but then again, ADR is a thing when you are making TVs and movies, that, that is just the nature of filming anything of this scale, especially outdoors. So that one we can kind of write off. One of the things that sticks out to me is the continuity within this show, because it doesn't seem to exist. There is no sense of time. Scenes happen, and there seems to be very little build-up to these scenes. It just screams of reshoots. Like, you can always tell a movie that's been heavily reshot simply by wigs, simply by uh, settings, how the actors look. There, there are little things, and I think what happened was, when Tom Shippey was fired, they used it as an excuse to rewrite heavy sections of this show, and I get the feeling there's a lot of footage on the cutting room floor before Shippey. There was a different character as Elrond, which I find quite interesting. I'm looking at my notes here, that I find different actors as him, which I find just fascinating. And apparently it was the guy that played in uh, Chronicles of Narnia, the films. So someone that looks a little bit more like um, the actor that played him in the Peter Jackson movies. Now, my theory on this, and I stress that word is that once they got rid of the people saying no, and they hired a bunch of yes-men, purple head freak, they didn't... they reshot heavy sections of this. And I also think a lot of the special effects were rushed. You can definitely tell the stuff that was done that had more time to the stuff at the beginning, to the stuff that was rushed at the second half or when they started heavily reshooting. Another tell that I have with this is the costumes. I get the feeling there were more cast changes than we realise because a lot of the costumes don't fit the actors. Armour is a prime example of that. As cheap as Rings of Power looks with the costumes, it's interesting that a lot of the armour just does not fit the actors. That's, you would think in a billion dollar TV show that would be a thing, but obviously, you know, 3D printing armour, come on. But it's just the way that the, the, it's just the way that it's paced out, it's just the way that it seems to handle itself, it's just the way that it seems disjointed in its production. Take all the bad stuff away but you can definitely tell there were some re heavy reshoots in places. And again, with the costumes, printed on chainmail fabric, which was probably intended for the extras, not the main cast, is kind of telling, given the fact that the people in the costume department and a few people left during production as well. But again, this is theory rather than hard evidence. This is all just discussion. One of the things that sticks out to me is the inconsistency in the actor's performance. And I will say this, there are actually some good performances in this. Uh, the actress that plays the female dwarf, the dwarven princess, is actually my favourite part of this entire show. What I don't get about this, they obviously started production a little earlier than they said, because we know that you can see the production dates. And the dates that they're saying interviews don't quite line up to the production that was done. But also, like I said, the heavy reshoots are quite obvious when you look at it. When you start taking apart the scenes and looking at the inconsistencies, the fact that a lot of the crowd scenes, the world feels very lifeless. There's not a lot of extras going on. There's not a lot of people. When there are, they're copy and pasted. 
One of the big reshoot things that I think sticks out to me is when she says our five Numenorean ships and it's free. That's a weird continuity blip that would seem quite obvious. But the disappearing, reappearing sword, time of day changing between shots, the, the even subtleties in the costumes changing between shots, they were obviously shots with a gap in between, and there was a lot of pickups. The CGI in some parts feels really rushed, like the wolves are obviously very rushed CGI, and again, billion dollar TV show. Think about it. I think a lot of the more rushed CGI is a symptom of the reshoots and the last minute changes because it was a case of what the hell are we doing here? We need to get this done really quick and our time frame has decreased massively. Another little thing, and I know ADR is a thing, films use ADR all the time, but there are some scenes where the mouth movement and the actor don't match, which I find really interesting. And that happens. ADR is a thing. So this one is more, again, very subjective. But there's obviously some re-looped footage and some re-looped dialogue. And it just feels very incoherent. And it's why there are two characters of the same name pop up as well, because I think that's a symptom of reshoots rather than anything else. It looks like it was a very troubled production. Another rumour slash leak was actually the Hobbit storyline, the Half-Foots who are not ancestors of the Hobbits, they're a different species. But that's a whole different thing. Okay, so rumour and leak that they were going to be more of a little side note storyline. And when you look at that footage, especially, again, CGI and special effects and overall quality of that footage, it has a far more unfinished feel next to the rest of the bigger CGI. Like, I mean, the scenery in this is beautiful. And I will give credit where credit's due. Some of that scenery is absolutely stunning. And when the costumes work, they work really well. But a lot of stuff just feels really out of place. And it's the continuity that keeps screaming at me throughout this. Like, continuity blips happen in film. It's the nature of film. It's the nature of filmmaking. But there are so many, from quite big things to little things to everything in between, and it just feels kind of incoherent in those places, which I find just fascinating. One of the other things that does scream out of me is the dialogue, because you can definitely tell, in my mind anyway, the dialogue that was shot first and kept is still there, and it seems to come off a lot better than the dialogue from the reshoots, because I get the feeling that was, again, very rushed. And, like, the production of this, I get the feeling a lot happened behind the scenes. But I feel like if you're going to shoot something like this, you have a billion dollar budget. A, why not delay production slightly for the reshoots and to finish some stuff? And B... What was the original version of this like? Because I get the feeling the original version was more canon to The Lord of the Rings and the appendices. And I also get the feeling that there was some other stuff happening, maybe some better performances. But, again, when you watch something that seems so incoherently put together, when there is no storyline, really, for the... From, ep from the first two episodes to the last two, everything that happens in the middle, it feels kind of pointless. It has no sense of time, it has no sense of travel, it has no sense of distance. You don't feel like you're on an epic journey. And there is a lot of talking headshots. Um, if anyone remembers that god-awful show Shadowhunters, its pilot episode was nothing but talking headshots, really. And that's usually a red flag for production stuff and reshoots and heavy reshoots because it's like we need to just get the actors in to re-record this stuff. Also, the fight choreography feels kind of bizarre in this. You're thinking, again, you have a billion dollar budget. You're copy and pasting extras. You've got fight work that feels more like Selena in Underworld than actually Lord of the Rings. It doesn't feel grounded, nothing feels heavy, nothing feels weighted, nothing... And yeah, I will say, the Legolas scene in The Hobbit is absolutely weird. But that's what it reminds me of, that very floaty, light look. And again, reshoots. And it keeps screaming at me, and I've had this theory for a long time, and 
There is leaks and rumours of this throughout the production, and also a somewhat troubled production. So I do wonder how much of this is real and so on, because again, leaks and rumours, we all have to take those with a massive pinch of salt, but Nerdrotic was right all along, let's be real. I wonder what this would have been if Tom Shippey hadn't have been fired. That's my question now, and that's the question that keeps me thinking and keeps me wondering, because I keep looking at this, and it just feels so strange. Like, like I said at the beginning, the l overall structure, the overall editing, the weird pacing that is a complete mess, costumes, day basic little things keep popping into my brain that don't seem to connect shot to shot here and there, and it feels really strange. I also wonder, because I know this is a thing, this is just a side note, the, the creators of the show are Mormons, and I do wonder, they strip the Catholicism element out of Tolkien's work. There is an element of Catholicism to his work, and a lot of what I'm seeing, there are certain key points that actually remind me a little bit of the Book of Mormon in places, which I think... I find really strange as a Mormon subtext to this show that, and I have no problems with Mormons. They're some of the loveliest people I've ever met in my life. Uh, but there is there is this weird Mormon subtext to this show that just makes me wonder what is going on and how it ended up where it did. There's a lot of rumors and leaks and information, but again, I do wonder how much of it is true. But reshoots and rewrites an all last minute and the very rushed look of this production, the editing style, everything points to very extensive reshoots, very extensive uh, rem changes. Um, the Photoshop sword in the poster of Galadriel where her hand is flat but the sword is being held, it's really strange. And also something that sticks out to me with this, and this is just again a theory, and I want to say that, theory, is that when Tom Shippey went, when he was fired for the most reductive reason, I wonder how long the um, do not talk about this contracts last. <laughs> because I get the feeling a lot's going to happen. Because we know the Elrond stuff was heavily reshot because the actor left during production. So we know for a fact a lot of him was reshot. And that might explain why some of the shots don't match. There's some background shots, and it's like, oh, okay. It just feels, it just feels very strange, and it feels so disjointed. And that's one of the things, like, even if this didn't have Lord of the Rings in its title, I would say the same thing. The disjointed nature of this show, it just screams out at me, and I just wonder what would have been, how it would have been, and what it would have been like. Just, I wonder what's on the cutting room floor. And since we're never going to probably get a Blu-ray or DVD release with deleted scenes, but they probably wouldn't put this stuff out anyway, even if they did, we're not going to get a big extensive Blu-ray or DVD set with an appendices and all of this stuff. We're, we're just not. Like, this is not billed on any DVD or Blu-ray release at all, and I think it's going to remain on Amazon. And another sign of a complicated production is the merchandising, because there is none. Kit Kats. Seriously, I've seen the advert once. I have seen the advert at one o'clock in the morning for Rings of Power Kit Kats with no... Uh, on a channel that literally specialises in made-for-TV Hallmark movies. So I do wonder, like, there's so much. I'd love to be a fly on the wall during this production. As terrible as the badly written as the show is, I wonder if, even with a compressed timeline, what we would have seen if the re if the reshoots and the rewrites are true, what we would have seen without that. I wonder if it would have been a better show. Maybe it wouldn't have even addressed the timeline. Maybe stuff would have happened. And I know they didn't want they wanted to compress the timeline so they didn't have to f get rid of actors, which it does make sense from a production standpoint. But there's so many little things. You can nitpick this show to no end. Big things, little things that don't line up, that don't add up, that don't feel organic. It, it, even, and that's just production. So I wonder what's 
what is left, what's missing. 